But anyway, what is good everybody? Key P here, beatsbykey.com. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be going over this Black Bear vocal effect. We are gonna be talking about the plugins that made up this vocal chain. We are going to be using stock plugins in FL Studio 20. And as an added bonus, I'm going to be showing you how I got that deep vocal effect that you heard in the ad libs. So let's jump into this. All right. You kind of heard in the beginning what it sounds like with vocal effects, the final version, if you will. I am going to show you what it sounds like without the plugins, and we are going to do this from scratch. I'm not going to be diving into the plugins and how I got the presets itself, but I will be showing you everything I use to get that vocal effect. So I hope it's still beneficial for you guys. If you guys can remember to like, comment, subscribe, that really helps, and I truly appreciate it. Let's dive right into the main vocal, and we are going to hear what that sounds like without any vocal effects on. So here's what it sounds like. Fake it. Why you wanna take my love and fake it? Cool. All right, so let's dive right into pitcher. Pitcher is auto tune or pitch correction. This is necessary, especially for Black Bear's vocals. You see here that this song in particular is set to a G sharp minor. I've been getting a lot of questions on how to find the keys to the song. If you guys don't know how to find a key to a song, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a tutorial on that. But I got this gender set to a male and the speed set at medium. So with this on, we are going to turn this on here and we're gonna turn off all the rest of the plugins that make up this chain first. And we're gonna start with pitcher. So here's what it sounds like before and after. So we'll do the before. Well, you already heard the before, so now we are going to do the after. Fake it. You can see it working right Why here. You wanna take my love and fake it? Oh. The next thing is an EQ sweep or an EQ reduction in the frequencies. Basically with this EQ reduction, we're taking out the unwatered frequencies in the vocals. So you can see here that I started with the one right here in the parametric EQ two. I started with the first band and you can see that I gradually raised the gain of these frequencies as I went. You can see how sharp the Q frequencies and how sharp they are right here. With this EQ reductions, we're just making it cleaner overall. So let's hear what it sounds like before and after. We'll just start right here just so there's no pause. Why you wanna take my love and fake it? Why you wanna take my love and fake it? So you can definitely hear that subtle cleanness in the vocals overall, and that's kind of what we're going for for this EQ sweep. The next thing that we have is the parametric EQ vocals, the key EQ vocals. There's not a lot done to it. I just added a high pass filter and a low pass, and we're just taking out those unwanted high and low frequencies. The next thing I did was take that three band and just decrease it a little bit. You're not gonna hear a big difference, but we'll hear what it sounds like before and after, so before first. Why you wanna take my love and fake it? And then after. Why you wanna take my love and fake it? So next thing that we got is a de-esser narrow band. What I did was load a Maximus plugin and then just went right clicked and de-esser narrow band, but then I adjusted this band right here. What this plugin does is it basically takes out the harsh S sounds moving on. We got another Maximus plugin, and this one is more for the EQ gain and reduction. We're boosting the wanted frequencies in the vocals to get that high presence in his vocals, but we are also keeping the mids and the lows at a, a steady level so you can actually hear them. So we can hear what it sounds like with and without. So without first. Why you wanna take my love and fake it? Oh. We'll turn it on. Why you wanna take my love and fake it? Oh. I have a bit of compression here in the highs, some in the mid, and then none in the lows. As far as the highs go, you can kind of hear that higher presence when I sing. So that's what we're going for. We're just boosting the high frequencies, making the overall vocals pop a little bit more. The next plugin that we have is a sound goodizer. Now the sound goodizer really makes it pops. It boosts the frequencies that you want to hear in the vocals. So this is what it's gonna sound like with and without. Why you wanna take my love and fake it? So that was without first and then with. Why you wanna take my love and fake it? Big difference. You can definitely hear that it boosted the mid and high frequencies. You can see here that I have this set to C 
and then the amount is about a quarter of the way up. The next thing we have is a fruity limiter, AKA the compressor. As far as the compression goes, you can see that I boosted the gain by 5.2 decibels. You can see in the upper left-hand corner right here where I have that. I decreased the threshold at negative 19.4 decibels. You can kind of see here that I compressed it quite a bit. The reason why I compressed it that much was because there is some parts in the vocals when I sing later on that are a bit quieter. So I wanted to boost that up a little bit more. Some may say that this is a bit over compressed and I would probably agree with them. But for this case, we're gonna keep it the same because I have singing in there and they're not the same level. So this is what we have. We got the compressor here, we got the knee, and then we got the ratio. I always set the ratio around two, one, two, five, anywhere between there. It really depends. I have a pretty slow release and then my sustain, I increased it to right around one, 0.00 milliseconds and the same goes for the limiter i have that set at zero db for the ceiling the attack i increased it a little bit more so it's not as quick the release is about the same and the sustain i increased a little bit more as well so before and after so let's just do it before first why you want to take my love and fake it oh and this is what it sounds like after why you want to take my love and fake it now we are going to get into the vocal effects. The first thing that I have is a Fruity Fastus. What this does is it adds more grit or drive into the vocals, um, giving it that guitar sound effect. As you can see, the mix level, I have around 8%, 8 to 10%. There's a reason for that. If you add too much of this Fruity Fastus, your vocals will sound pretty harsh. So let's hear what it sounds like before and after, before first. Why you wanna take my love and fake it? Oh. After? Now I'm wasted. Why you wanna take my love and fake it? So the next thing that we have is a Fruity Reverb 2, and this plugin is really good on the vocals. These are the settings. So when you heard the vocals, you could kind of hear that delay in the reverb. And what I did was just made sure that this tempo sync was on, and then I increased it to one. I'm not entirely sure if it's milliseconds or seconds or whatever it is, but you can see here that I increased it to that one amount. And then I made sure that the tempo is synced. I can't stress this enough. Make sure that your tempo is first set before you start recording. I have a video showing you how to do that in case you don't know how to do that so it'll be in the upper this corner i believe yeah this corner so go ahead and check that out you can see here i increased the size a little bit more and the wetness is at 83 percent while the separation is at 53 percent so negative 53 percent so if we listen to this now before and after so let's hear what it sounds like before why you want to take my love and fake it and then after why you want to take my love and fake it oh no, I'm wasted. So I love that delay it has in that reverb. I think it gives it that cool Black Bear vibe that we're going for. The next thing that we have is a fruity delay. And this is just a very basic fruity delay to have on your vocals. This is what it looks like. I made sure that this is gonna be at eight notes and it gives it this really cool effect all together. So let's hear what it sounds like all together now. Why you wanna take my love and fake it? Oh. Now we will move on to the ad-libs it's very similar as far as the pitcher through the fruity limiter in the vocal chain it's pretty much very similar to what i have in the main vocals the only thing i changed were the reverb and delays so as far as the reverb in the lower ad-libs are in the ad-libs this is what it looks like you can see that the size is boosted all the way up basically giving it uh, more reverb to the overall ad-lib vocals so let's go ahead and listen to what that sounds like right now without the delay first. So as you can hear, it has a lot more reverb. That's what we're going for for this vocal effect, especially when added the main vocals and the lower ad libs together. As far as the delay, it's very similar again, except I made it into a ping pong mode um, and four notes instead. So all together, this is what it sounds like. So with the main vocals and ad libs, this is what we got. Why you wanna take my love and fake it? Oh, no, I'm wasted. Sounds dope. So now, as promised, I'm going to show you how I got that low ad lib vocals here. It was very simple. All I did was right click the main vocals and I went to consolidated track from start. 
So let's do that. So let's go to consolidated track from start. So it's going to pop up with this menu right here. You wanna make sure that you have the enable inserts effects and master effects turned off. So what you're looking for is the raw or dry vocals of the main vocals. So that's why you wanna make sure that those inserts are turned off. That way when you render it, it's going to be just straight from the mic vocals. So when that track is rendered, it's going to create what is called a consolidated track. So to consolidate a track, it means to glue together all the audio within that track playlist and make it just one file. After I consolidated the track, I simply duplicated it by holding down shift, left clicking, dragging down like go of shift and it's going to duplicate that track exactly for the main snap make sure that the line is on as well this helps with keeping everything in sync and in line with the main vocals up top i'm going to go ahead and undo that though because i already have my low ad libs placed to where i want them as you can see i took out some of the main vocals i only wanted the deep ad libs in certain areas of the song next you want to double click on that consolidated ad lib make sure that the target mixer track right here is set to the correct number in the mixer slot so you can see here that this is track three you got the low ad libs that's track to three what i did next was double click this track I went to mode here and click stretch. And then I went to the settings. It's usually set at C5. So if I play this, why you wanna take my love and fake it? So it's usually at a C5, but I made it to a C6, thus giving it that deep vocal effect. It's moving it up an octave. And how I did that was I right clicked my mouse. So you just right click here to get that effect. And then once you press play, so it gives that cool deep vocal effect that we're looking for. And you can mess around with this if you want. You can select different keys. But you just wanna be careful because each key is a different note and it may not be in tune or in scale with the key of the song. That's why I have this set at C6 and that is how you get that deep vocal effect in here. With that said, this is what everything sounds like all together. I love that part. But anyway, that is it for this tutorial. It, let me know in the comments below what kind of vocal effect you wanna hear next or what other tutorials you wanna see. If you want this vocal effect, feel free to download it. The link is in the description. Until next time, guys, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Peace.